So the Spiron P69J it's at the bottom. My understanding this is a two in one because you can kind of rotate it and flip it out. And the client sent it because the power jack is faulty right here. understand why it's not even gets plugged in there so yeah something isn't right with the track so let's replace it I don't think it's such a hard system to work on just some screws on the bottom and some screws in all I should have a much better guitar picking here, but brand new one. Yeah, without the guitar pick, it's it's really hard to open up anything. Jack is right here, so pretty simple. What's interesting, they left a port for USB Type C right here, but uh, they were, I guess, afraid to run it like that because it's really unproven technology, so to speak. Now what I want to do is I want to disconnect this uh, cable right here. I want to screw this guy right there. Now the thing is I would like to kind of lift up this thing outwards. Uh, but there are cables right here which I don't want to bend. So let's see what I want to do first is I want to remove the battery right there. It's not really want to be removed like that. All right, so the battery is removed, and now we probably want to disconnect uh, both of those cables. One is right here, so I need to remove this tape outwards. Then flip this guy over and drag this thing out now this thing like that like that and we got like that good job Two screws right there, and now we can easily flip this guy like that. Let's see if we can get this thing out. 
bit more. All right, so we got the jack out. Seems like something is stuck inside, probably. Let's see why we can plug in this guy into here. Yeah, we can't. I mean, it doesn't fit. Well, no big deal. What I want to do is I want to remove the wires from the back of the jack by unsoldering them. But before I'm going to do that, I need to uh, remove all of that glue right here. The hot glue in the back of the jack. I need to remove all of that. It's it's not so much. I mean, it's it's going to take some time. I don't want to waste the time. I'm just going to use uh, this screwdriver just to kind of pry it out. But it's going to take a little bit of time. All right, so I got the hot glue out and we got three cables running to the back of the jack and I need to remove all of this nonsense right here because, because it's going to be in the way and I'm going to be soldering this whole thing. So I spread the wires the best I can. I need to get this tape right there. Make sure to wear glasses, by the way. This is just gonna be... Anyways, let me pause this whole thing. All right, so I got all of the insulation from the wires without damaging the wires. And this is the diagram. Basically, the black goes to the left, the white goes on the bottom. And the red is on this side, on this side. So that's, that's how you're supposed to look at it. And that's that ledge right there. So that's the diagram if any one of you have a broken jack, which is uh, already wires got detached. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some flux right here, right there and right there, and remove the cable one by one. Then I'm gonna install it on a new jack. So let me go get a brand new jack. All right, so that's a brand new jack right here. And it should be exactly the same connection in the back. Like that, yeah. All right, so let's begin soldering. All right, now we're gonna add some flux. Let's get the diagram. Let's add some flux right here. Thank you. 
shoot. Too much. So it looks good to me. The reason it's all to the side is so that once you put it into the casing right here, the wires would be going slightly to the side, not towards the back. So let's put it in like that. And let's, you know, first let's connect it. Okay. Once this is connected, now I'm not done yet because I need to do one last step here. Keep watching, guys. All right, and the final touch is the hot glue that is gonna that I'm gonna put around the jack.
All right, so now that uh, the glue dried up a little bit, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the cables. First I connect this guy. All right, good job. And come on, Just like that. Good job. And everything's connected here. Everything should work fine. So let's put the top cover back onto the laptop. All right, the reason I put the plug in so that the alignment of the hole to the jack would be perfect. Sure, let's connect it like that. Here, this wiring should be out of this area right here. Alrighty, everything seems to be aligned fine. And let's see if we can if we can make the plug get into the jack. All right, it goes in perfectly fine. We got a light in the front. Oh, and we already got the screen. Mm. and you see i mean it works so thank you so much guys for watching please leave a like and if you want subscribe thank you have a good day bye